Hello everyone, my name is Kathy and I'm a professor at UC Santa Barbara in molecular and cell biology. And this is the sea urchin that was in the video spawning eggs, but from this one animal, we actually got massive beakers full of eggs that your other class has already used and more than enough for you. So from one female, we got close to probably 10 million eggs, I would guess. So that's pretty nice. These are animals that really are just a gut and a gonad. They make a lot of sperm and eggs and they eat a lot. So their job is to, is to eat and make babies. <laughs> and so How many of you have been to the UCSB campus? Yeah, most people, okay. So my lab is right out on Campus Point. So this is Campus Point. So if you want the surf report, you call me and I'll give you the surf report. I'll call you. <laughs> Those are sea urchin eggs. Yeah, oh my gosh. Just, yeah, go ahead. Whoa, the I'm going to show you real-time fertilization, but you're going to see it too yourself. But I wanted to use this as a way to illustrate. So the winning sperm is entering right here, and we've kind of caught it in the act. And I want to show you what happens. <laughs> Boom! That's real time. So here we have some uh, urchin eggs, and what we're going to do here is look at them under the microscope and watch some mitosis happening and divide, and watch the cells divide. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> So we're gonna we're mimicking the ocean right now. We're making this sperm pretty dilute, but it's still pretty concentrated, right? And so what we're gonna do then is put a drop right on that microscope slide. So you might want to be watching as we add the drop. Yeah, we're we can you see it? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's gonna move a little bit now. Take the video. Can you see the sperm moving? Now we're going to add sperm and see if we can get some good fertilization. It just looks like other dots. Yeah, keep looking.